Hello ladies, thank you for joining me for this last video in this series all about poise. We have been covering this book from Jennifer L. Scott, which is Polish Your Poise with Madame Chic, and I have created a whole month of videos over the month of January that has covered this topic and that has reviewed this book. If you've watched all those videos, you might be thinking, okay, what's next? Okay, now we look great, we've got killer posture, we can communicate gracefully most of the time, we've polished up our table manners, and we have made our home suitable for living with poise. Now it's time to take it a step further. We are so much more than our pretty faces and stylish clothes. We are more than our mannerisms and the way that we carry ourselves. We are more than the way that we keep our homes and eat our meals. To fully develop our inner chic as well, we need to cultivate our intelligence, shift our perspectives, and be of service to others. But as I mentioned to you, I am starting to read the classic books. My friend Agnes picked up this one for me for Christmas. It is Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. And I haven't got through it yet. I've read a little bit of it, but it is the next thing for leisure that I will be reading. What are you reading? Is there anything that you can sharpen your mind with? Can you read a classic book? What were you like in school? Like, did Shakespeare stand out to you? I don't think we always have to go to this old school Shakespeare, Jane Austen-y type of thing, but I think it's very easy to read trending books. You know, one of the books that I read a few years ago was that Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. And I remember reading this and I was like, I wasn't that impressed. <laughs> And so I think it's very easy to get caught up with the trending books that everybody is talking about when there's so many classics out there that are just a little bit more complex. Now I've already mentioned two of my favorite YouTubers, but I wanna mention two more because I lo absolutely love their content and I feel like when I watch their content, it allows me to feel more poised, it allows me to feel more leveled up, and I love admiring people that are practicing their poise in a real life way that I can gain inspiration from. And I've mentioned these two people here on YouTube before and one of them is Kylie Flavel. She is a Australian that is now living in Italy and obviously when you're living in Italy, everything is beautiful for the most part, but it still takes intentionality. And I absolutely love seeing how she cultivates that on a week to week basis. And then Nicholas Fairford, I've mentioned him in this series already, but if you want to see somebody who, especially if you watched the video thus far where I'm talking about how we can be poised at home, oh, the way Nicholas has his house at home is just stunning. And I love watching him share that with others. So who's somebody that you can watch on YouTube? I mean, thank you for watching me right now, but who is somebody else that you can watch on YouTube that is going to inspire you to live a more poised life? This is chic, this is poise. Refining all aspects of your life for the well-being of yourself and others. You will have so much to talk about at the next party you attend. You'll inspire others to look into what you're passionate about. Your viewers will appreciate you for reminding them that they used to have a passion for topics like this as well. If you're a young person and you find yourself passionate about a topic right now, never let go of that passion for learning. Find a field that you're interested in and delve deeply there. Indulge your interest in studying Russian architecture, keep practicing that piano, champion your favorite musicians, and let them know that you appreciate their art. Cultivate your mind, and in doing so, you cultivate your poise, so you are not just a pretty face, but a smart one too. Now we're talking about where to go from here. So one of the things that I will be looking at doing is taking pride in everything that I do moving forward from here. It's very easy to slip into bad habits and not put these things as a priority, which is why I'm trying to take pride in everything that I do. May it be the house, may it be my hair. It's very easy for me to, you know, quickly blow dry my hair and run the flat iron through it, but I'm wanting to practice poise and I'm wanting to present my best self as much as possible. So since last night, I got the air wrap out and I did my hair properly. It's not only going to make my hair look bouncy and full and feminine, but 
it's also going to not damage my hair because every time I use the flat iron, even if it's on low settings, I end up damaging my hair more. And so I'm really trying to like take that to heart and practice having poise and pride in everything that I do. The next area, I said that I'm looking at practicing that at home, but I'm also looking at practicing that with my weight with my job, getting a car <laughs> and keeping the car clean and my dogs, something as simple as, you know, my dogs, I, I'm doing some gardening and I have to do this gardening now so I can include it in a series on our other channel in the spring. And it got absolutely muddy outside and the dog got in the mud. And so I asked my husband to give the dog a bath and I was running behind because this gardening took a little bit longer and I was like, oh, I'm not gonna blow dry the dog. Well, now that I haven't blow dried him, he's matted everywhere and I just wish that I took the second to slow down and took pride in even the dog and had blow dried him because now he has all these mats that I have to go cut out. So when I say I'm trying to take pride in everything that I do, I'm truly trying to do that and I think if you saw the previous videos where I talked about how we can cultivate our poise is by holding ourselves accountable to what we're doing behind closed doors, you'll know that even though you might be like, oh, you know, just cut the mats out of the dog's hair. Yeah, I will do that. I'm going to have to do that. But I wish that I could have done that right away in the moment instead of putting it off because that would have been the poised thing to do instead of letting the dog run around the house and air drying. <laughs> the last thing that I'm going to be working on in regards to where to go next now that we have finished covering this topic of poised is understanding that poised people manage their expectations. And so what I've really observed in other poised people is, is that they're often ready to handle what life throws at them and that allows them to respond in a poised manner and not in an emotional manner. And even though that there's going to be things that happen in, in your life that isn't going to be the best, I think that there is purpose in every season of life that you're going through. I'm personally in a season of life that is quite challenging, even though that's not what I'm presenting to you here. But I feel like I'm really working on managing my expectations so I am not acting or reacting from an emotional place. I think it's important to understand that things aren't always going to go your way. Like I personally had a experience where I spent some time at a hair salon to walk out of there looking like a drowned rat and it didn't even look like it didn't even look like I had just had my hair done by a professional stylist and you know maybe I'll add some clips of what the hair ended up being like after but okay I have extensions in here and so obviously we can't take this into consideration but all of my hair like through the body of it here is my real hair and I think you can s safely say it's pretty polished it's pretty nice my hair has been like this since last night and so to spend the time it took an hour to get there an hour at the salon and an hour back that's that it was three hours of my time that I didn't really have to spare this particular day and I voiced my concerns to the salon and unfortunately I didn't get the type of response back that I would have hoped for but I just got on with my life, you know, and I I shared the experience over on my Instagram because I wanted to share the experience of how the brand responded, but I wasn't emotional about the fact that I had an event to go to and I looked like a drowned rat. I wasn't emotional about the fact that I wasted three hours of my time and now because I voiced the concern, this brand, and it's a pretty huge brand, I can tell isn't my biggest fan. I didn't get emotional at that and I think that that is what a poised person would do. A poised person will communicate in a level-headed way what or where they're at but they don't let those emotions take hold of them and the situation. Does that make sense? With that being said, ladies, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed this series. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this channel. In the month of February, we are going to be talking about 
money and having an old money mindset. So if that sounds like anything of importance or interest to you, you will want to join this little, little community and press the subscribe button. I would love to have you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.